Hi everyone, we are at Eurobike. I'm so happy to be on the Shimano space. We have uh, a so cool guy from the marketing mountain bike department. I will let I will present you and uh, present a, a new product, a new motor. Yeah, I'm very excited to show you uh, our new e-bike lineup. Uh, you are looking at a bike equipped with our refreshed EP8. So EP8 yeah. is, uh, is our yeah, flagship e-bike system, really meant for mountainous riding, for, for, for trail riding, so really for the fanatic mountain biker. Or uh, core riders. For, for the core riders indeed. EP8 has 85 uh, Newton meter, so still the same level as, as, as let's say old EP8, uh, but it's far more intelligent. Okay. Uh, so EP8 uh, is compatible with the RX TDI2, which I will come back on, uh, but it also offers more options for our brands that equip EP8 so that they can connect all kinds of devices to, uh, to, um, to the drive unit uh, uh, yeah, to expand that ecosystem yes. basically. Uh, so EP8 is in our lineup the most strongest drive unit, uh, the most powerful uh, drive unit. Uh, so really for that core mountain biker. Uh, next to EP8, we also introduced EP6. Yes. Uh, EP6 is, um, uh, is basically the little brother of EP8. It uses a lot of uh, technologies uh, of EP8, but then at a lower and more accessible price point. Okay. Uh, it means that it still has 85 Newton meter of torque. Uh, it's uh, yeah, just as powerful. There will be a bit difference in, let's say, peak power, so in short accelerations. Uh, and the main difference is in weight. So EP6 is 300 grams more heavy than EP8, uh, but it's still a very good package for a yeah, more accessible price, uh, price level. Um, for whose rider is EP6? Yeah, EP6 is basically then for a broader, uh, broader audience. So you will for sure find it on full suspension mountain bikes, but you will also find it more on trekking and city bikes. Okay. So it appeals to a, to a yeah, the more broader sportive uh, audience. Okay. Um, for the rest, EP6 has basically the same functionalities as EP8. So also it's compatible with the new Dior XT Di2 drivetrain. And that's where the, the real interesting magic happens basically uh, what we introduced this year. Because this bike is equipped with 11 speed Dior XT Di2. Uh, it's of course electronic shifting. Uh, we, we brought it to, to e-mountain bikes, to, to e-bikes. Um, yeah, and it has, of course, all the benefits of electronic shifting, which we know from 105, for example. Uh, it's stable, it's fast, uh, it's the fantastic bleep, bleep, bleep uh, sound when you shift. So smooth. So smooth indeed. But next to that, it's offering what we call auto shift and free shift. And auto shift is like, like, like the word says, it's automatic shifting. So when you are pedaling on the fire road, for example, uh, the system shifts for you. So you don't have to think about shifting. It's basically shifting without shifting. And it means that you're always in the right gear. Super beneficial for a lot of riders, of course. Free shift is, uh, is basically my favorite. It's pedaling free shifting. So normally you always have to pedal to make a shift happening. But thanks to uh, yeah, our drive unit, so the new EP801 and the new EP6 and the URC there too, we can allow for that pedal free shifting. Uh, so Technically, it means that the chain ring on the, on the, uh, yeah, moves independently of the cranks. So while you're, for example, uh, like I also tried it, of course, uh, uh, on, uh, you're on the downhill section and you're going faster, the system is, is notifying that and it's, it shifts for you while you're not pedaling. It shifts uh, automatically at the best moment. Yeah, it shifts automatically, but you can also shift manually. Okay. Uh, also with auto shift, you can always overrule that with manual shifting. Uh, but but thanks to free shift, uh, because yeah, you're uh, for example in a uh, in, he in a heavy gear or a larger sprocket, when you are on top of the climb, you go down downwards, you go faster, and then you have a climb again, and uh, and you want to be ready for action. And, and normally, uh, yeah, you're sometimes struggling with, with being in the right gear when you start pedaling again. And with that free shift, you can yeah, either automatically or manual shift while you are coasting. Uh, so when you resume pedaling, you're, you're basically always in the right, the right gear again. So with the new X uh, Dior XT Di2 drive, there's also a new switch, uh, which is located on this handlebar. And via the switch, you can obviously uh, overrule that auto shifting uh, to be in the yeah, really the, the right gear if you want and if it's not to your satisfaction. 
uh, and you can also shift uh, between the different profiles. So via also our YouTube project app, you can uh, 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 customize the way it, uh, it auto shifts basically. So the shift timing, and you can even set two profiles in your uh, in your uh, in your e-bike. Um, for example, for more rough riding, more shredding, or yeah. more recreational rides. And also, uh, what I didn't mention yet is that also with the new EP801 and EP6 and the EG Project app, we have now even more customization options. Okay. So you can, uh, we have a, uh, something called fine tune mode. And thanks to fine tune mode, you can customize up to 15 levels of assist. 15? Yeah, 15. Uh, yeah, so if you are really want to have detailed like really customized assist uh, feeling. You can select all 15 okay. and have like little, little steps in, uh, in assist. Uh, step, by step, step by step switching. Yeah, indeed. Okay. Uh, but you can also select seven, for example, if you, uh, if you like. So you have more more freedom in, in, in making the bike yours, basically. Okay, nice. Yeah. Thanks a lot to watch uh, this video. Uh, I don't know about you, but now I really, really want to ride. So. See you soon on Trobike Shop TV and don't forget, it's always the right time!